Hello, my name is Max, I'm CTO and data scientist at Supervisely, and in today's tutorial I will show you how to automatically detect custom objects in your dataset using the new model from Google research team, it's called OWLVIT. Let's start. So here is my account and demo data. Before we start, the first step is to connect your computer to the platform. And we need to go to Team Cluster page. As you can see, I connected several machines with GPUs. Uh, to do that, you need just execute a single command uh, in the terminal on your computer and it will be automatically connected to the platform. I will provide the link in our blog post and in the description on how to do that. So the next step is to run the neural network. Uh, let's go to the neural networks page and to the section interactive detection model. Here we see there is an application, serve OWLVIT. This app deploys the model. Let's run it. Uh, in advanced settings, we need to select the computer with GPU because uh, the model will work faster. Uh, I will pick this one and press run button. The application has started and in the graphical user interface, we see here two options. We can provide custom weights or we can deploy pre-trained models. I will select the model with medium size. It will produce good enough predictions and the inference time will be faster than with the large model. I will use this A5000 GPU device and I need to press serve button. Let's wait a bit until the model weights will be downloaded to our computer and the model will be deployed as a service. Right now the model is ready and it means that we can use another applications from Supervisely to communicate with the model, to get predictions and to apply this model to our data. Let's open our demo data and I will show you how we can work with the model during the annotation phase. Here are my demo images. Let's open the image annotation toolbox. I will slightly prepare this right sidebar for my app and to start using any neural network inside Supervisor, you need to run this neural network image labeling application from Ecosystem. Let's run it. Right now the application is started. We can connect to the deployed model. We see some information about this model and additional inference settings that we can configure. Let me show you the first way how we can apply this model using the text prompt. Here is a mod text prompt and we need to define one or several queries. I will define only one for detecting hummingbirds. Let's try to apply this model to the image. The model produced prediction, we see it here. Let's go to the next image and repeat the procedure. We will apply the model uh, to the current image. We see the predictions again for these birds detected. And let's do for the last one. If we don't see any predictions, there might be a chance that the confidence for the predicted bounding boxes is lower than the threshold we defined. Let's try to change it a bit and see what will happen. Okay, right now the neural network produced a detection and as you can see the confidence is slightly less than 0 0.1 and right now we see the boxes. On this image I would like to show you another way how you can use this model. Uh, instead of providing the text, you can provide a reference example uh, for the model. You just need to select one object, model will remember it, and then you will, it will try to detect the similar objects uh, on other images. Let's create a new class, butterfly, and label one object. 
We need to press the button apply model to region of interest and it means that the model will save this reference object, will remember it and now the model is ready to predict. I will press escape to deselect the object and the button apply model to image uh, can be pressed now. As you can see, the model predicts other butterflies on our image. Let's go to the next one. We can apply the model again and again. Let's move on to the next image. Here it is. If we want to change the reference object, we just need to select a bounding box tool, rectangle tool, create a class, for example, ship, and label it on the image. Then we again apply model to ROI button, and it means that the model will remember the reference object. Then we deselect it here and apply model to entire image. Here, as you can see, the model produced more or less good predictions, and this is how we can sig significantly speed up the annotation procedure with using this model. Let's try one more example. Here it is. I will create a class, example, bottle, and let's label one object. and apply model to it. Right now I can deselect it and apply model to entire image. Here are the predictions. In most cases they are good, but sometimes the model can produce mistakes and we can easily select such objects and remove them from the image. That's it for the first part when we use this model inside the labeling toolbox. There is also an another way how you can apply this model to your images. For example, you have thousands of images in your project and you want to apply this model to all of them at once. To do that, you need to run special app from the context menu of your project. You can find it in the neural networks section. Here it is, apply or WLVIT model to images project, or you can show the model window and find it here. Let's run this app. Right now the application is started and we can open it. We can work with all data sets in our project or with a specific one. I will choose a specific one with water meters and press select data button. Let's go to the next step and connect to the deployed class agnostic detection model. And on the next step, we can go through the images, select, choose one, one image and define the reference bounding box around an object. Also, as you can see, we have two options here. I prefer to use reference image, but you also can provide a text prompt, text description of your object. I will use a reference, reference image for example. Here is my bounding box. Let's go to the next step. I have to define the class for these objects. It will be a water meter. Also, I can configure confidence thresholds and so on. Before we apply the model to all images in our dataset, we can preview predictions on some random portion of the images. Let me select, for example, six, six images and pick some random examples. Here they are. Then I can press predictions preview button to see how model works on these images. As we see, the model produced more or less good results. We're satisfied with them and we can go to the final step 
and the new project will be created with original images and predictions, let's call it. And the data set will have the name data set one. Let's run the model and apply it to all images we have in our data set. As you can see, the model produced predictions and they are saved to a new project. Let's open it. And here they are. Sometimes model can make mistakes, but we can manually correct, correct it and go to the next images. I showed you in this tutorial how to use the model released by Google research team uh, to pre-label your data. We learned how to deploy the model, how to use it right inside the labeling tool, or how to apply this model to all images in your data set. This model can take two inputs, text prompt and reference object. I highly recommend you to upload your images and try it on your own data. If you find this tutorial useful, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more computer vision tutorials. See you soon. Goodbye.